Hi, welcome to this Code Maths video. In this Code Maths video, we're going to look at matrix equations part two. Now, before you watch this video, there's a few other videos I'd recommend you watch on Code Maths to begin with. They are matrix equations part one, adding matrices, the identity matrix, the inverse of the matrix, and the determinant. And all those videos are going to be quite useful before you watch this video. And in this video, we're going to focus on solving equations in this format, where we've got AX equals B, where A, X, and B are all matrices. Now, whenever you solve an equation like this, we can't divide both sides of this equation by A. What we've actually got to do is we're going to multiply both sides of the equation by another matrix. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of A. And the reason we're doing that is if we multiply A by its inverse, if we do the inverse of A multiplied by A, that's equal to the density matrix I, which is if we're dealing with two by two matrices, it'll be one, zero, zero, one. And whenever we multiply a matrix by the density matrix, we're just left with that matrix. So if we were to take this and we were to multiply both sides by the inverse of A, so we do the inverse of A times A, a times x and it's very important that you get the order correct here it has to be the inverse of a in the front here so the inverse of a times a times x is equal to and again we need to put the inverse of a at the front so the inverse of a times b and it's very important we get that order correct and what would happen here would be if you multiply the inverse of a by a you get the density matrix so we'd have the density matrix times x is equal to the inverse of a times b and the density matrix times x would just be x so we get x is equal to the inverse of a times b and that's and that's it so that would be how you would solve this equation to find out what x is and actually that's just what's underneath here as well so i've just written down you'd multiply both sides by the inverse of a making sure that goes at the front and the order is very important and whenever you multiply both sides by the inverse of a the left hand side you get the density matrix times x and whenever you multiply something by the density matrix you just get x now that sounds quite complicated but let's have a look at an example and see how to do it so we've got the matrix a which is 4 20 2 12 and we've got the matrix b which is negative 4 6 and we want to solve the equation ax equals b so let's write down what we've got here we've got ax so that's going to be 4 20 2 12 times by x so the matrix x is equal to b which is negative 4 6. Now to solve an equation in this form, we want to find out what x is. We can't divide both sides by this matrix, but what we can do is we can multiply both sides by the inverse of a. And if we can multiply both sides by the inverse of a, we can get rid of this here. We can get rid of this a in front of the x and just be left with x. So what we need to do is find the inverse of a. So let's find the inverse of a. So to find the inverse of a, remember what we do is, and it would be very useful to watch if you need a recap on finding the inverse of a matrix, to go to Corp Mavs and watch the video on finding the inverse of a matrix. But what we do is we do one over the determinant of a, so one over the determinant debt a and then we do the matrix we would have had a b c d but what we're going to do is we're going to do d negative b negative c a so what we do is we switch around these terms and change the signs of these ones so in terms of the matrix a let's find the determinant to begin with so to find the determinant of this matrix we multiply these two together and we subtract what we get when we multiply these two together so the determinant of a determinant of a would be equal to 4 times 12 that's equal to 48 subtract 2 times 20 that's equal to 40 and 48 subtract 40 is equal to 8 so the determinant of this matrix is 8 so we want to find the inverse of matrix a we're going to do the inverse of matrix a is equal to 1 over 8 and 8 fourth and then we're going to do we're going to swap around these terms so we're going to swap these two around so we're going to write 12 and 4 and we're going to change the signs of these two so it's going to be negative 20 and negative 2. So we've now found the inverse of a, which is an eighth bracket 12, negative 20, negative 2, 4. And we could multiply these elements by an eighth and get 12 over 8, negative 20 over 8, negative 2 over 8, and 4 over 8, and cancel them down if you wish. But this is the inverse of a. And what we're now going to do is we're going to multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of a. So here we had ax equals b. And we're going to multiply both sides to get the inverse of a times by a times by x equals the inverse of a times by b. Now here on this left hand side we're doing this so this becomes the density matrix. So the inverse of a times a is equal to the density matrix. So that's just i and if we times that by x we're just left with x. So that means we just get x equals the inverse of a times b. So if we just multiply both sides of this by the inverse of a this we would have on the left hand side we'd just be left with x and on the right hand side and that's important whenever we're multiplying this b by the inverse of a you put the inverse of a in the front. So 1 over 8 times 12 negative 20 negative 2 4 and we're multiplying that by 
by the matrix B, which is negative 4, 6. Now, if we just simplify this, we can find out X. Now, whenever we're multiplying these, we could multiply the two matrices together to begin with, and then multiply by an eighth, and that's actually what I'm going to do. Or you could do an eighth times this matrix, all the elements, and then times them together, and it'll give you the same answer. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to multiply the matrices to begin with, so I'm going to get X equals an eighth off. And I remember to multiply these matrices together, what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the first row by the column, and that will give us our first element of our answer. And then we're going to multiply the second row by the column, and then that will give us our second answer. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 12 multiplied by negative 4, and 12 times negative 4 would be negative 48. And then we're going to add what we get whenever we do negative 20 times 6. And negative 20 times 6 is equal to negative 120. So that'll be our first element in our matrix. Then if we go to the second row of our matrix and multiply it by the column, we're going to do negative 2 times negative 4, that's 8. And then we're going to add 4 times 6, and 4 times 6 is 24. So let's simplify this and see what we get. So we get that x is equal to an 8, and then we've got negative 48 plus minus 120. So it's going to be minus 48 minus 120, which would be minus 168. And then beneath that would be 8 plus 24, which would be 32. So it means that x is equal to an 8 of minus 168, 32. Now if we divide both of these by 8, or multiply both of them by an 8, we can then find out what x is. So x equals, and if we divide both of them by 8, we get we get the x is equal to negative 21, 4, and that's it. So if we want to solve this equation here where we had a x equals b, what we need to do is multiply both sides by the inverse of a. The left-hand side would just become x because the inverse of a times a is the density matrix, and then whenever you times that by x, it's just x. And on the right-hand side, we had b, which is negative 4, 6. We need to multiply that by the inverse of a, and that the inverse of a needs to go in front of it, and then we multiply it together. So we multiply the row by the column, and then the row by the column. That gives us our matrix, and then we just need to multiply that by an eighth, and then that would give us our answer for x, which was minus 21, 4. Let's have a look at another example. So here's our next example. We've got the matrix B is equal to 3, negative 2, 1, 4, and we've got the matrix C is equal to 0, 4, negative 2, 1. And we've been asked to solve the equation Cx equals B. So let's write that down. C, which is equal to 0, 4, negative 2, 1, times x is equal to B, which is equal to 3, negative 2, 1, 4. So we want to find out what x is, so we want to get rid of c. So if we want to get rid of the c in front of it, what we need to do is multiply both sides of this equation by the inverse of c. So we need to do the inverse of c times by the left-hand side. So we'd have the inverse of c times c times x. And on the right-hand side, we'd have the inverse of c times b. So what we need to do is find the inverse of c. So to find the inverse of matrix c, let's find the determinant of c to begin with. So det c, the determinant of c, is equal to, we multiply these together, 0 times 1 is equal to 0, so 0, minus what we get whenever we multiply these together. So 4 times minus 2 is minus 8, so minus minus 8. So 0 minus minus 8 is equal to 8. So the determinant of matrix c is equal to 8. So the inverse of c would be equal to 1 over that determinant, 1 over 8. And then what we're going to do is swap these elements around, so that'll be 1 and 0, and then change the signs of these two, so minus 4, 2. So that's the inverse of matrix C. We're going to multiply both sides of this equation by that. Now on the left-hand side, we're multiplying the inverse of C by C, so it becomes a density matrix, so we'll just be left with X, so that's quite nice. And then we need to multiply matrix B by the inverse of C. Remember, the inverse of C needs to go in front, so we're going to have... 1 over 8, and then we've got 1, negative 4, 2, 0, and we're going to multiply that by 3, negative 2, 1, 4. And whenever we multiply these and simplify it, that'll be x. So let's do that. Now we could multiply each of these elements by an eighth. I'm going to do the multiplication first. I'm going to multiply the two matrices together first of all, and then I'll times each of the elements by an eighth. So I'm going to get x equals an eighth of. So let's multiply two matrices together. So let's multiply the first row by the first column. So it's 1 times 3 is equal to 3. And then we're going to add. And then we're going to do negative 4 times 1, which is negative 4. So that's our first element. Then our next element would be the first row times the second column. So the first row times the second column would be 1 times negative 2 is negative 2 plus, and then we've got negative 4 times 4, which would be negative 16. Now, in terms of this element, we're going to do the second row times the first column. So 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and then add 0 times 1, which is 0. And then finally, the second row times the second column, 2 times minus 2 is equal to minus 4, and 0 times 4 is equal to 0. So now we just need to work this out. So we've got x is equal to an eighth, and then we've got 3 plus minus 4, that's going to be minus 1. Then here we've got minus 2 plus minus 16, so minus 2 take away 16 is minus 18. Then we've got 6 plus 0, that's 6. 
And then finally, minus 4 plus 0 is minus 4. So that means that x is equal to an 8 times negative 1, negative 16, 6, negative 4. And that's it. That's our answer. Now you could multiply each of these elements by an 8 if you wanted to, but I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay, let's have a look at our next example. Okay, this time we've got the matrix A is equal to 2, 1, 3, 2. The matrix B is equal to negative 8, 0, 5, 4. And the matrix C is equal to 1, negative 1, negative 1, C. And we've been asked to solve the equation AX subtract 2C equals 3B. So I'm going to work out to begin with what 2C and 3B are. So 2C would be equal to 2C would be equal to 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2, just multiplying all the elements by 2. And in terms of 3B, 3B would be equal to, multiplying each of the elements by 3 would be negative 24, 0, 15, 12. And that means we can now write out our equation. We've been asked to solve AX, that's going to be 2, 1, 3, 2, X subtract 2c, so subtract this, which would be 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2, is equal to 3b, which is negative 24, 0, 15, 12. So that's our equation, and we want to solve it to find out what x is. Now, to begin with, I don't want this matrix here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to both sides. So I'm going to add, and if you watch Matrix Equations Part 1, you'll see me do this. We're going to add 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2 to both sides of our equation to get rid of this matrix here. So plus 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2 to both sides of the equation. So the left-hand side will become now just 2, 1, 3, 2 times x, and the right-hand side will be our negative 24, 0, 15, 12, and we're adding 2, negative 2, negative 2, 2. So let's simplify this right-hand side. So we've got 2, 1, 3, 2 times x is equal to negative 24 plus 2 would be negative 22. 0 plus negative 2 would be negative 2. 15 plus negative 2 would be 13, because we're going to add negative 2, we're going down 2. And finally, 12 plus 2 is equal to 14. So we've now got our equation in the form of a matrix times a matrix equals a matrix. So we want to get rid of this, and we're going to do that by multiplying both sides by the inverse of this matrix. And that was matrix A, so we need to find the inverse of A. So let's first of all find the determinant of A, the determinant of A. So we're going to do 2 times 2 is equal to 4, and we're going to subtract 3 times 1 is equal to 3, so that's equal to 1. So the determinant of this matrix is 1, so the inverse of matrix A would be equal to 1 over 1, which is 1, that's great. And then we're going to swap these two around, well it's 2, 2, and we're going to change the signs of these, which would be negative 1, negative 3. So the inverse of A is equal to 2, negative 1, negative 3, 2. So if we go down here, if we multiply both sides by the inverse of A, and remember the order is important, so we're going to multiply this side by the inverse of A. So the inverse of A times A would be the density matrix, times X would be X. And on this side, we're multiplying this by the inverse of A as well. And remember, it has to go in front. So the inverse of A was equal to 2, negative 1, negative 3, 2. And we're timesing it by negative 22, negative 2, 13, and 14. And whenever we multiply these two matrices together, that'll be our matrix X. So let's do that. So X is equal to our first row times our first column. 2 times negative 22 would be negative 44 plus, And then negative 1 times 13 would be negative 13. We're now going to do the first row times the second column. So 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. And negative 1 times negative 14 would be plus negative 14. Then we've got our second row times our first column, so negative 3 times negative 22 would be 66, and then 2 times 13 would be plus 26, and finally our second row times our second column would be negative 3 times negative 2 would be 6, and then 2 times 14 would be equal to 28, so 6 plus 28. And then if we just simplify this, we'll get our answer for x, so x equals, and simplifying this, Minus 44 plus minus 13. Well, that's going to be minus 44 take away 13, so it's going to be minus 57. We've then got minus 4 plus minus 14, so it's going to be minus 4 minus 14, which would be minus 18. Then we've got 66 plus 26, that's equal to 92. And then we've got 6 plus 28, that's equal to 34. So that means that x is equal to negative 57, negative 18, 92, 34, and that's it. So if we're solving an equation in the form ax equals b, we need to multiply both sides by the inverse of matrix A. It has to go in front. The inverse of matrix A times A is the density matrix, and when we times that by x, we're just left with x, which is fantastic. And then on the right-hand side, we'd have the inverse of A times b, and whenever you work that out, then that'll be your answer to your equation. And that's it. I really, really hope you find this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.